Okay, I'm getting back on this Sentinel model 400 TV and uh, I just made some styrofoam uh, supports because I have it upside down and I don't want to break any coils especially this one over here I'm going for C1 which is the three section cap in the power supply I'm going to leave everything as it is for now and just replace the capacitors I may cut this one and drill some holes and just take a mental note here okay I've made a note of the triangle is over here and the square which is filled with goo is, uh, I've labeled that on the chassis just to be certain. I've gone ahead and sawed the capacitor off and just a little bit of heat and uh, it just pulls right out. Holy yucky. Lovely toxins in there I'm sure. They're kind of rubbery rubber bands and whatnot. That's C1. Let me get off my notes here. See what? I'll just document some of the progress here. We're going to take this cap. We can't fit three of them in there. I've tried, but it kind of egg shapes the uh, the can. So I'm going to have to stack two and tie one something on that idea to take care of C1. Okay, next we're on to the sweep chassis electrolytics, and I'm going to do uh, C7 and 8, which are these two right here. Now the phenolic on this. Is broken this was damaged in in shipment and it's only a hundred at 150 I have it labeled as voltage doubler so I may just stick one under the chassis there's not a lot I can do here with him I'm not worried about you know the I'm not worried about the uh, cosmetic appearance of it too much just that the phenolics broken and I'm not going to easily replace that. I don't have one in this size. Um, I just cut him out of here. He's the one that's uh, he's the three section here which we got 60, 20, and 10. 60, 20, and 10 all at 300. So we'll start on him next. And he, he pretty much just lifted right off. Can's negative. But I, I don't know if this is on phenolic or not. Can's negative and it's it's to the chassis, so I don't really understand the cardboard. Oh, unless they didn't want it to come in contact with this one. By some means. I I'm not not sure. Okay. Same as the first, second verse, same as the first here. Okay, I've removed the um, two 6SN7s, a 6SL7, and another 6SN7, I believe. Uh, the two Sylvanias here are date coded the same. And, uh, interesting note, this can is not even soldered to the chassis, but it is used as a tie point. I was wondering, is this chassis aluminum? No, it's steel. I was testing with a magnet. The damn magnet stays on the chassis, comes out of the out of the flashlight. And we'll cut, cut him next. And that's electrolytic C8. Okay, for C8, it looks like we're going to do something like this. It just barely fits without the aluminum can, but we'll stack all three like that. And that's what we'll go with. Okay, finishing up the electrolytics here, I have three of them stacked under here and they're connected underneath. And for this one, I was, this is a 200 to 200. I, I was first going to trace and cut out a piece of phenolic or something. I've just, um, I put a 200 to 200. This is a uh, window suction cup I had kicking around. I was going to use a, a medicine cap or a plastic and cut something, but I managed to uh, cut a couple slots and use the original rivets here so it's mounted and it's flexible. And this is just some black um, Permatex I had left over from the, uh, the auto repair, and there's only a little left gasket 
maker and it's it's gooey and it gets all over you it was a mess but i just went around it a little bit they are just to, it stays pretty good anyway because this is cupped and it's mounted by the rivets now but uh that's what we'll do there and underneath underneath like a suction cup there and I have the wires crimped and fastened pretty well and that's the electrolytic there so let's I'm gonna stop here with the electrolytics and uh, well there's another one here but th this is easy those are the hardest things to change to come up the phenolic was broken stacking those but that's over with and the other chassis is done too so now we can this is almost ready to be, uh, we can repopulate it with the tubes. Okay, repopulate the tubes and I think in the next video I'll put the CRT back in and we'll connect the two halves uh, with it original and, and see what it does. Now I know the high voltage capacitors need replacing and I already have them. I'm not going to do it yet but those are those 1600 volt ones right here. There's four of them. Uh, one's already been changed all these have to go I may replace them ahead of time I'm, I'm not sure yet I may do some more capacitor work but I just want to try it first I want to see how our power supply I'm leaving the seleniums here the sand resistor we're just gonna don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves just try it out and the electrolytics are all set just do a quick scan of this chassis. This is the power supply chassis. And it's electrolytic. And there's the top. We can just put the other, the uh, original covering on that. And, uh, okay, we can put the CRT in the high voltage chassis and connect it to and see what happens.